Hi, my name is Claudia Collins and I'm here with GA Quebec to talk about how important it is when you enter the workforce to know about yourself. Uh, GA Quebec is an organization, a nonprofit organization that has permission to provide to students knowledge and competencies on financial literacy and also on entrepreneurship. Um, I was lucky enough over the last few years to partner with them and also attend some activities. And one of the one that I remember was um, students coming to the office and presenting their product that they have to put on the market. Um, I was pretty impressed with the work and the professionalism that um, they demonstrated through the process and how dedicated they were to uh, uh, showcase their knowledge, showcase the work that they've done, and also not to be impressed by the people sitting in the room that maybe had more experience and more knowledge than they had. So uh, kudos uh, to uh, those students. Um, I'm Claudia Collins, as I said at the beginning, and maybe to share some of my story. Uh, I was born in Chile, uh, immigrated in Canada uh, a long time ago. I was pretty young, uh, lived uh, in Montreal, attended school, uh, CGEP uh, in Montreal as well, and studied in uh, marketing before I entered an organization, a retail organization, for uh, 24 years. Um, I was lucky uh, through those years to uh, partner and have great mentors uh, that were uh, able to provide me with some feedback and coaching as well. And since 2014, I've joined the Fairstone and I'm super happy to be part of that organization. So knowing yourself, why is it important to know yourself when you enter the workforce? Well, first of all, I think that uh, to start with the interview, uh, you will be asked to talk about yourself, talk about your competencies, to talk about what you know and how you differentiate yourself from somebody else. So knowing yourself starts with what you know. Um, stuff that you learn at school, stuff that you learn through activities, uh, by reading, uh, on the web. Um, so knowledge that you acquire. Uh, that knowledge that you acquire is also important to know how to apply it. So um, it could be through different activities again, could be at work, could be uh, in projects that you do at school or projects that we do uh, at work also. Um, knowing yourself is also about areas of interest. So we develop over the years areas of interest. It could be sports, literacy, could be uh, music, an instrument, could be uh, IT, could be in cooking, and if you're like me, could be shopping. Uh, some activities are more social, some interests are more social than others, other become more professional. There's also the hobbies. So once you acquire knowledge, once you know how to apply it, and then you've also discovered your areas of interest, then becomes your hobby, your passion. What's a passion? Passion is something that you're dedicated, that it's an activity or something that you do that you don't count the hours, that you lose track of time. Um, I'm surrounded by people that have uh, the same passion, the same hobby that they, that they when they're, they were young. Um, I wasn't lucky enough to have discovered a passion when I was young, maybe because I wasn't really um, uh, put in front of options, maybe. Um, but I can certainly say that today I have two areas where I'm pretty passionate about. People, coaching people, and also uh, cooking. I love cooking. Um, and then there's assets. So once you know yourself, so you, you have acquired knowledge, you know how to apply it, you know your areas of interest, and also you know maybe something that you're pretty passionate about. What is the asset that you have that somebody else doesn't have. How do you make sure that you differentiate yourself from somebody else? Somebody in my past um, told me once that you cannot be good at everything. You can certainly be super, super good and excel in one, two, three areas. Um, so you have two choices. Either you concentrate on the one that you're not so good at, and then you acquire more knowledge, develop those skills, or you concentrate on something that you're pretty good at, and then that will compensate for the stuff that you're not so good or maybe not as, um, as uh, equipped 
to, uh, to implement. Now, one of the secrets, it's also to surround yourself with people that are either as good as you are or better at, at you. Um, that, that creates a great teamwork and that creates a great workforce as well. And it's a great talent to be able to uh, identify people that can help you succeed and also uh, to build that teamwork that sometimes you need in order to succeed in some projects and, and, and um, areas where you're in, maybe you're challenged sometime. So knowing yourself will require also to make a list. Make a list of everything that you know, everything that you're passionate about, everything that you wish to learn, everything that you'd like to become better at, but also uh, take feedback from the people that surround you. Ask questions, ask them to provide you some tips and coaching, and maybe ask them to share some experience that can benefit you. Um, the more you know about yourself, the better it's going to be in the workforce you will see areas where you're gonna be attracted and you will become very successful. And if you know yourself, you're also gonna see areas where you're not gonna be so good at, but then you're gonna remember maybe to get some people to help you, maybe to get some people to provide you some feedback, but also maybe to join forces and, and, and get that teamwork that will make you successful. Listening to others, remember the coaching that you had, remember the feedback that somebody gave you. It's a great asset. I've done it through my, works, uh, my work experience. I've done it also with my people, my team, when I coach them. Um, it is super important to listen and also to remember. Um, as my, my, my boss that I had those few years back told me that you cannot be good at everything, and I truly believe that but also to focus on what you're good at. Um, that is the best coaching tip that I've ever provided to anybody. Like focus on what you're good at and that will compensate for areas where you're maybe um, need some, are, are more challenged. Uh, but in order to do that, you need to know who you are and what you want to do in life. So I hope that this capsule has uh, helped you a bit. I was very happy to have uh, the opportunity to share some of my experience and my knowledge. And I wish you the best of luck over uh, the next few months through these uh, special circumstances that we're living and um, enjoy life. Thanks. <music>